We are moving on into episode five of my No Spoon Achievement Run. We are at two hours, 56 minutes, so just under three hours. And now officially starts what I'm considering phase two of the playthrough. And that's going to be really kicking off a major increase in production, as well as some new factories and things like that. But first, what I want to do is uh, move on to power, but quickly change up a couple things around here, like... Uh, I forgot to put an output box for my RoboPort production over here, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Let's cap that off at two stacks, and then actually one thing I want to do is um, instead of buffering steel before it can even get to the frames, I'm going to, uh, let's see, let's use this as a buffer, but we will still output it onto the box, and only then when it's uh, kind of backed up will it begin to buffer into the box here. And then now, in order to get the steel from the line into the rubble port assembler, we'll just do something like that. Really easy. Oh, except, nope, we need a filter inserter to do steel instead of the batteries. All right, there we go. Problem solved for that. Um, now let's start research on something else. We are going to do concrete, actually, for now. Resume that. We are just a little tick of a way into it when I stopped it originally. Okay, so that will help the steel production and therefore help my bots. Um, I want to fix the same buffering problem over here for my uh, robot frames. So that way, what can we do? We can have, let's delete this. Let's do a long-handed inserter instead. And we will go underground like that. Will that work? Whoops, let's move that up. No. What am I doing wrong? There we go. That's a little bit weird. And then we will do uh, inserter there. It would be nice to do a little box, but I think that'll be okay. So that will help bot production for now. Uh, we are at five logistic bots and 43 construction bots, and frames will keep on getting produced. Bots will keep on getting produced. I want at least 50 of each. Uh, let's see here. We've also got a buffer box for red circuits. So um, first thing on the agenda for actual uh, real production and automation of things, let's go ahead and uh, do some modules real quick. And actually, we're going to use this area here where we already have green and red circuits and just borrow from that. And we're just going to do a couple little things. We can have them right here. And we'll do four assemblers. I think two for speed one modules and another two for uh, productivity one modules. We'll do, let's see, this and this to get the red circuits. We'll do a blue inserter on either side for the green. Like that. And I don't have the productivity modules research quite yet, but that will be on the to-do list. We can output like this. I think um, I want to change the output so that way uh, the speed one modules will end up on the other side of the belt and share it with pro the productivity modules. And then we can do a splitter right here. We'll do a box on either end. We will split off, let's see, speed ones right there will be just fine. We need our output inserters like that. More power. And let's just cap this off at, uh, let's do four. Let's do four stacks. That's really ambitious, but I don't want to end up stealing the green circuits that are feeding all the way into my bot uh, factory over there. So this will start kind of just passively working for us uh, in the background. Next thing on the to-do list, concrete is about to be done. Uh, red circuits are basically getting used up by the RoboPort thing for now. Ooh, that's what we'll want to do. We'll want to uh, actually put down our RoboPorts, make some passive provider boxes, and have the bots start doing our will. Oh, let's uh, put down... A long-handed inserter, actually, that will go right here. 
since that was not working, and it looks like this one is not working either. All right, glad I caught that. That will help out a little bit. All right, concrete is now finished. Now we can move on to advanced material processing that will unlock electric furnaces for us. So we'll do that there. And then uh, we're not too far away from getting purple science, assuming we can actually get increased production of everything we need. Let's just do a quick inventory management here. Let's grab some resources. We'll start putting down the passive provider boxes, and that way we can start requesting materials. I'm gonna increase the cap on this, since uh, a lot of the builds I'll end up doing here pretty soon for phase two will require a lot of underground belts. Uh, that will be for pipe. There we go. I will even put this as a passive provider box for the uh, red circuits. That will be for uh, the RoboPorts. We could do that there and there. And now let's start putting down the, do I have any RoboPorts? I do, I have nine on me. So the next important project will be uh, power because we've already had two brownouts this playthrough and I would like to keep it at a max of two. So this power setup should hopefully last us through till the end of the game. That is my goal. And power is gonna go right here in this open spot that I have available. Put that there. Connect this up with power as well. All right, so I'm gonna grab my blueprint for power. Here we go. And I think it'll be better this way, but I'm gonna do a couple of them so we can do um, one bit of power here and then we'll do another line here and just change the pipe inputs for the water. Um, let's see. And I should start requesting things too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's do 200 for belts. We'll do that just standard for, I think, most of the other products. Oh, actually, we don't want that. We will do red instead, blue next. Um, let's do some power. And then there's also a couple other odd things that I wanna automate. Uh, I do want to automate um, substations once we get that, and also some steel boxes because um, some of my other builds will require steel boxes as well. Uh, but in the meantime, let's finish this little project, at least connect things up to water. And I'm already out of underground pipe, but that's okay because the bots should be able to deliver that to me now. Don't quite have enough room to connect up my, my robo ports here. What if I do like that? Will they be in range? Oh, just barely not. Okay, let's move this up one more tile. All right, that should be in range, I would think. Which it will be once the other robo port gets placed. All right, so um, there's one pump of water there. We will do the same thing over here. And uh, craft a couple more. I think I'm gonna do about five of these or something like that. And then let's just copy this. There we go. So that will be, let's see, that should be, I think, plenty. That is four um, full blocks. Plus what I already have at the uh, little starter base area. Let's make life easy. Copy that, copy that. And then it would be really nice not to have to worry about power for the rest of the game. That 
that will connect there. So that's three bits of water connected. Can I fit in another pump over here? I can. All right, almost there. Um, this will connect up. Oh, uh, let's not do that. All right, so we've got that connected, that connected. So there should be four pumps in total. Let's see if that will be enough um, power with just having these four blocks. And actually, I don't really have a good amount of wooden power poles, so I'm gonna change this so um, all of the wooden power poles get upgraded into the medium power poles. So like that to that, perfect. Upgrade. The bots should be able to do that. Now we just have to connect up to coal, which I do have nearby. We've got um, a couple uh, coal patches just to the left. And then that's also the exact same area that I plan on tapping into coal for um, supporting the new uh, smelter blocks that I'm going to be making here pretty soon. Whoa, why do those bots have so much coal? Oh, you know what? I don't have storage yet. So they have nowhere to put stuff. Okay, let's make a couple little storage chests for them. Same with those bots getting stuck there. I do like my storage fairly centrally located. And actually, since I'm so nearby uh, to the concrete assembler, we'll go ahead and fix that now too and put in the recipe. We can just do storage chests right here. Put in my rubble port there. And then this becomes an assembler for concrete. It doesn't have water, so we'll have to do some water fixing, which we can snake around. Like this. Um, let's see, let's get rid of that. We will replace a little power pole there and underground that. All right, that conveniently worked out. So water, we can put another pump here to support concrete. Okay, bots should finish the rest. Um, it is within construction coverage. Advanced material processing is done, so we can move on to, um, let's do low density structures next. And meanwhile, bots are still working on power. Uh, we should connect up uh, coal now into these steam engines. So let's grab the 15 minor line here. This patch isn't quite long enough, but that is okay. We can do one there, one there, and we can have the bots help us out and do a lot of the work for me. Let's do another rubber port there. Whoops, doesn't help if I place my power pole over it. And then we'll add in another one over here so it's within range, like that. And then connect it up to power. Okay, bots should get to this eventually. Let's see my Logistic coverage, pretty good. It's all connected so far. Okay, so we can help the bots out at least a little bit with connecting up coal because I wanna make sure the lines get connected before I forget. Okay. 
and I think this will go down the whole uh, two uh, blocks worth of power. But if not, we can always add more uh, coal mining if needed. Okay, there's water for that. Water there and there. Looks like my bots are maybe struggling a little bit to get the pipes down. And then we'll connect up this line over here. Oh! for the other bit of coal. All right, at least that is powered now. We'll just put in a couple of the miners to help out the bots. We don't have to do the whole thing, just enough to get started. Okay, there's power. Am I having a brownout? Is that the issue? No. Is my power network not combined? It's not. Okay. I'm glad we caught that. So it's probably partly not combined because the power poles aren't finished getting installed. But is it fixed now? Now it is fixed. Okay, so coal will start to slowly get in over here. Um, bots will finish with putting in the power poles and the steam engines on all the other stuff um, eventually. We can give a couple more miners over here. All right, so that has solved, or at least partly will eventually solve power. At this point, we can officially start uh, putting down some smelters and start thinking about increasing production of uh, the more advanced factories that we're going to be needing. So the first uh, factory we'll really need for endgame will be a green circuit factory, which we, means we need more uh, smelters of iron and copper plate. I'm thinking we'll put those smelters over here in this wide open area, and it's also nearby uh, the ore patches just above. So let's start by doing, um, let's see, a big steel block. We'll do two of these. And ooh, it's just underneath uh, the iron there, which is really convenient. So two of those. And then we will do uh, five regular blocks. So we'll do, let's see. Actually, six. I don't know. Yeah, let's do six. Let's just make sure these connect up. Okay, perfect. So there's one, two. Three, four, five. Actually, let's just keep it with five. Let's fill in the underground belt we were missing here. So we are going to need tons of uh, underground belts and coal. This we get to change to a coal splitter like that. Same with this guy. And then let's add in some RoboPort coverage. I'm curious how many bots I have in the network at this point. We'll put in a rubber port there. And that's probably our closest rubber port um, connection if we put it over here. So let's do that, like that. Okay, so we'll add a couple more over there. Uh, while I'm here, I think I want to help out my uh, light oil because I don't have a whole lot. I think I have an excess of uh, petroleum. So at this point, I'm going to just undo the recipe so the chemical plants will still be here if I change my mind in the future. But I do want to start stockpiling some light oil so that we have that for uh, 
rocket fuel a little bit later. And let's grab a little bit of steel while I'm, while I'm here. Okay, can I make at least one more tank? No. Oh, I need iron. All right, now I can make one. All right. Bots, we want to help along the way with... Uh, Filling in these factories. We'll also want to put down the miners. We can put another rubber port right there. And just for good coverage, we'll extend it along here too. Like that. Good. So uh, these are steel uh, smelters, so we need to get more um, iron that will go into them, of course. Also more coal. Maybe I should do the coal first. And we actually have another coal patch up there. Maybe I should have used that for uh, power. And then we can always just change the direction of these belts and uh, divert them to go into the new smelters. Okay, so my 15 minor patch right here. We will direct these, I guess. They don't quite fit all 15 on either side. But if these are solely going into power, that's okay. So let's have these go to power instead. And then we'll do the same thing for the other minor stack over here. Add another rubber port for robo coverage, of course, so the bots can do the work for me. Am I out? Ooh, I should request some. It would be nice to have about 10 or so on me at all times. Oh, and you know what? I know why the bots haven't finished power yet. I don't think I finished putting in my passive provider boxes for things like the um, power poles and stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that too. Like we're missing coverage there. And I think this is why we're having such a shortage of green science because all of my um, inserters are going in here. Let's just grab a whole bunch actually. And direct insert into green science. There we go. Blue science is really lacking, though. I'm guessing that's because of a lack of red circuits. Um, but we'll put down passive provider boxes here, here, here. We'll put in another roboport. Not that I have any on me. Okay, come on, bots. Bring me a roboport. And is this the culprit for why red circuits are lacking? Or because uh, modules are stealing them all? That might be a possibility. How's power? Ooh, yeah. Bots definitely have to get power done. Uh, oh. My own RoboPort assembler doesn't have Robo coverage. We'll fix that. I think that might be... Everything that I'm producing going into a passive provider box at this point, apart from some of the raw materials, like I don't think we have a box yet for green circuits. Oh, we need another rubber port here. Like I said. All right, that should help out a little bit. In the meantime, um, I'm gonna grab some power poles myself and we'll help the bots along. with filling in things that are essential, like power and my new smelters. We'll start with the uh, power stuff first because that's by far more important.
Oop, I always think I can walk through that, but I can't. All right, there's a little bit of power. There's even more power. Okay, we're getting there. Here the bots come with a little delivery for me. Let's see, how many do I have in the network? I have um, 219 construction bots. That's really not too bad. They're not very quick, but that's okay. All right, that's all the power poles for the southern block of my steam engines. Uh, northern block, we can fill in a couple, whoops, power poles here and there. That, and it's not connected, so we're gonna connect it like that, and then same here for power. Do I have bot coverage all the way up there? Not quite. So we'll do one more RoboPort up there so it can get the very top right section. And then let's do a little bit of um, helping out the power poles over here. Oh, and then we need to bring power over to my new coal uh, miners. And then a uh, rubble port. There we go. So they should start to fill that in. Uh, we can start to divert the coal over here now. I know that I can have the bots destroy this for me, but um, they are busy doing other things. So it's fine if I just do this on my own. Okay, there's that done. We'll have the bots do this one little section there. All right, let's just turn this the other way. And I should probably do one more set of miners at the very least. Let's do like that. And we can actually move it over a tile. Let's re Place that. I just wanted to make sure that uh, this miner wasn't accidentally getting uh, any iron. All right, now let's start connecting up the coal. I think because there's an overlap of the copper and iron over here, um, that will be a really good spot just to bring down my belts since I don't plan on having any miners over like this combined uh, ore area. All right, there is a little bit of coal that will come in. Uh, this again is steel, so we will do, let's get rid of the crap in my inventory. Oh, no, I can't. I can't over here though. I can get rid of some of the stone furnaces in my inventory that I don't need anymore and we'll repurpose them into these smelters. Okay, this will also be coal. Of 
Crap, I'm already out of belt. And we're gonna do the same thing with uh, an upgrade planner, whereas I'm running low on the uh, wooden power poles. We shall upgrade uh, medium to, or the wooden power poles to the medium ones. Upgrade these guys, like that. Um, those are already the medium power poles, so we don't have to worry about them. Let's grab a little bit more belt. How's my light oil? Oh, it's just barely filling up. Um, in fact, power or um, oil is turned off, it looks like. Meaning I have way too much petroleum and acid at the moment. And low density structures taking their sweet time. Red circuits are really lacking. And it's not even the module's fault. It's just solely going into this chest here. Um, okay, let's cap that, or let's just do one stack. In fact, no, we're gonna not even put a buffer chest there because I have a chest right there that acts as a buffer. We're just gonna do a long-handed inserter. There we go, so that they don't all get into the rubber ports. Now some red circuits will make their way through. And do I have the productivity modules researched yet? Not quite, that will probably be the next thing. And let's grab a little bit more belt. I've got plenty of inserters on me. Pipe is good right now. I can start to um, trash a couple things that I don't need. I might have to put a passive provider box on uh, the little stone thing up here that makes the stone furnaces. Just in case there isn't enough in the network as it is. All right, there we go. Um, we'll turn these into uh, for real miners. Do I have, ooh, I don't have miners coming to me yet. Okay, oh, I need one more RoboPort. Right there. Okay. We're coming along. We still obviously have tons of stuff to fill in now that I'm putting down uh, massive amounts of ghosts. Uh, but we'll finish connecting this up for coal. And let's do a splitter there just to join up the resources if needed. We need one more power pull for that guy. How's power now? Power is doing pretty good. And then we can add in the blocks of miners for iron and copper. I don't think it will mine up the copper if I do there. Oh, it, yes it will. Okay, we're gonna just move this over by like a tile. Is that any better? Yeah. Okay, so this will be the uh, new iron mining blocks for uh, what's gonna go into steel which are these two. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ooh, I'm glad I caught this. I have coal coming in through the wrong direction. I caught that in the nick of time.
we will just have this, I guess, start at the beginning, which is over um, to the left. Um, let's see, let's have coal. Come through here. And then the other half will just have it carry on to the left. All right, so glad I caught that. Um, because it's going to be our ore that is going to be coming through the splitters on the top. Okay, is that working properly? Oh, uh, not quite. All right, we'll see if that works. And then fill in a couple more miners here. Not that I have any more on me, or do I? Nope, I don't. Uh, but the bots will get to putting in the rest of the materials eventually. They're just a little bit slow. But I think that's probably uh, a good spot to end it. I'm sure we're over time. I know I've been aiming for half an hour videos, but I just keep getting carried away. Uh, but now that we at least have smelters uh, ghosted, we can start to fill in uh, the output uh, belts for preparing for green circuits for next time. So thank you guys for joining me for episode five, and I'll be seeing you very soon for episode six.